Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you very much for listening to this YouTube channel. Monday, November 6, our market close higher today up 88.76 points or up 1.48% to close at 6,078.03. Value turnovers at 3.2 billion pesos. No? So today is also the first day of shorting sa PSE. No? So when we say shorting, you make money by uh, selling a shares you do not own. No? So you borrow shares from another person. Bebenta mo, then market corrects or the stock price drops uh, for you to purchase at a much lower price. Yung spread na yun, sa'yo yun. No? But of course, it's easier said than done. No? There's a lot of uh, issues or at least... Uh, documentations, borrowings, no? Hindi siya yung tipong heram ka lang, no? Sino magpapaheram, no? Of course, there will be some security lending agreement first, no? But for our intraday uh, shorters, uh, I can see some brokers practicing it already, no? But for the real uh, shorting, medyo mahirap-hirap yan. Especially with uh, the Korean exchange, no? Also, uh, suspended uh, shorting until further notice. No. Anyway, lakas ng market today, no? Uh it ended uh up, no, for uh, actually uh, it's already in green before closing uh higher on late buying, no? So, it's the industrial sector lang yung lagar today, but all the sectors rallied. Uh SM is up 3.54%, no? So, not much volume also, no? By the way, no, Meralco ended the uh, first uh, nine month uh, with core net income of around 30 billion pesos, which is up 53% year on year. No? So, given this kind of environment, yung mga utilities talaga mga uh, that is performing well. No? Anyway, no, uh, Meralco's consolidated net income also grew uh, 28.4 billion, which is up 44% year on or year. On year. So the revenues is also up uh, 6% year on year. No? This is uh, because of increase in of volume distributed and higher pass through charges. Uh nipis ng volume no. Converge is up SM SM Prime also announced their earnings. No? So and oil roll back tomorrow. No? By the way no, if, uh, with regards to the gaming industry, sabi ng Pagcor that uh, the uh, gross uh, gaming revenues have returned to pre-pandemic levels due to increased demand, lifting of pandemic-related restrictions, and development of resorts in Clark, Pampanga. So, if you also check the gross gaming re revenues ng, uh, ng Pagcor right now, they are seeing some like 15 to 20% uh, compounded annual growth rate for the next uh, 5 years, which means talagang yan yung industry na talagang who will boom no in the Philippines no talagang of course the government is really desperate for funds and it's also okay na Pagcor is very supportive of that no so right now uh, let's monitor those uh, related uh, to to gaming no of course when we say gaming it's Solaire who's the number one there no and of course for uh, online gaming wherein it's now illegal to do online sabong, it's DigiPlus who's benefiting from this. And today, they also announced their first nine-month uh, earnings. No, So, early this year, patati mino monitor to. Right now, there's not much coverage on DigiPlus except for some brokerage, no? uh, I think CLSA and Call. But, yun nga, uh, the net income, of DG Plus for the first nine months grew, no, to over ten folds, no, coming from a low base last year. Nakita natin yung full benefit ng Bingo Plus, no, full year performance nanya, no. So they already got around twenty million uh, users, subscribers, no, which is almost a fifth of our population, no. So Gcash has around eighty million users and. Uh, for comparison, uh, Bingo Plus and Arena Plus has around 20 million users in their platform, which means uh, and dami pang growth dito, no? They have untapped potentials, and uh, when you also check the app, 
It's very convenient and uh, there's a lot of games, no? So mga third party games, card games, no? And they recently launched an online live streaming color game, no? Yung parang perya, no? Very convenient, very traditional. You don't need to go uh it's very accessible. You don't need to go outside to play the usual Filipino games that we all uh, love, no? So ganda ng net income nila. Oh, na tayo ng discuss niyan eh, no? So for the first nine months, uh, net income is already at 2.1 billion, no? So let's see how they will perform this fourth quarter, lalo na mataas ang disposable income ng mga Filipinos. Uh, coming na they will get their 13th month bonus, no? So PS Pack, no? Uh, their first nine month net income grew by 18% to around 3.37 billion. No? So this is mainly because of its uh, loan uh, portfolio growth. So si Dito, they already adjusted the public float, no? With the issuance, there's a new group, no? So public float drops to 20.05%, no? So a hairline below the threshold na 20%, no? Sa so, talagang calculated na nila, no? Kundi masususpeda na naman yan, no? So, about this power also confirms the renewal of the electricity supply agreement with Nobia, no? wherein about this power will supply 1,200 kilowatts to Nobia's food manufacturing and distribution center in Cavite. No? So, FCG, no? sabi ng CEO nila that uh, the company is bullish on its growth uh, prospect despite heavy competition in the industry. Uh, Globes, uh, Nine month revenues is also up 2.8 percent year on year to around 133.79 billion, while net income saw a decline to 19.29 billion due to higher non-operating charges. No, so anyway, our passcode for today is DG plus. No, yan lang naman yung uh, malakas sa market right now. No, just imagine uh, he is up there uh, with the most actively traded stock mas active pa siya than uh, index names uh, Semerara, Converge, DMC no? so talaga wala ng appetite sa market right now no? so how will uh, people uh, list uh, next year no? so yung mga prime infra my nilad, how can you expect people to subscribe to these IPOs, no, these are IPO, IPOs are very big, no, speaking of IPO, no, Red Sea is already at 7 pesos no? not much liquidity here but uh, ever since uh uh, one of the directors ng Armstrong Securities uh, got elected as independent director ng Red Sea. Yan, tuloy-tuloy. Sky is the limit there. No? So, congratulations. No? Again, thank you very much for listening. Bye!